Welcome, beloved, in this wonderful time of public reading of the word. And also, it's uh, the second prayer watch of the day. It's nine o'clock in the morning. And in this in Kiswahili, then we're going to read it in English. Mungu wangu, mbona umeniacha, mbona umbali na wakovu wangu, na maneno ya kuugua kwangu. E mungu wangu, nalia mchana lakini hujibu, na wakati wa usiku lakini sipati raha. Na wewe umtakatifu, uketie juu ya sifa ya za Israeli, baba zetu walikutumaini wewe, walikutumaini na wewe ukawaokoa. Walikulilia wewe wakaokoka. Walikutumainia wasiaibike. Lakini mimi ni mdudu wala si mtu. Laumu ya wanadamu na mzaha wa watu. Wote wanionao hunicheka sana. Hunifionya wakitikisa vichwa vyao. Useme, usema, umtegemee mbwana na amemponya, amponye. Na muokoe sasa maana apende, apendezwe apendezwa naye verse 9 Naam wewe ndiye wewe ndiwe ulienitoa tumboni ulinita ulin, ulini tumainisha ulini tumainisha matiti mwa mwana mwa mama yangu kwako nalitup, nalitupwa tangu tumboni toka tumboni mamama mamamangu ndiwe Mungu wangu usiwe mbali nami maana tabu ikaribu kwa maana hakuna msaidizi Mafa, maha, mafahali wengi wamenizunguka walio hodari na, ma, na bash, wabashani wamenisonga wamenison, wananifumbulia vinywa vinywa vyao kama simba apa rurae na kunguruma nimemwagika kama maji Mifu, mifupa yangu yote imeteguka moyo wangu umekuwa kama nta na kuyeyuka ndani ya mtima wangu nguvu zangu zimekauka kama ngai Ulimi wangu waambatana na taa yangu zangu. Unaniweka katika mavumbi ya mauti. Kwa maana mbwa wamenizunguka. Kusanyiko la wokovu wamenisonga. Wamenizuia, wamenizua mikono ya miguu. Naweza kuhesabu mifupa yangu yote. Wao wananitazama na kunikodolea macho. Wanagawanya nguo zangu na vazi langu wanalipiga kura nawe bwana usiwe mbali e nguvu zangu fanya haraka kunisaidia uniponye nafsi yangu na upanga mpenzi wangu wa nguvu za mbwa uniponye nafsi yangu na upanga mpenzi wangu na nguvu za mbwa kinywani mwa simba uniokoe Naam toka pembe za nyati umenijibu. Nili nitalihubiri jina lako kwa ndugu zangu. Katikati ya mkusanyiko nitakusifu. Nyinyi mnaomcha Bwana msifuni. Enyi nyote mlio wazao wa Yakobo mtukuzeni. Mcheni enyi nyote mlio wazao wa Israeli. Maana hakulidharau teso la mteswa wala haku hakuchukizwa nalo wala hakumchif haku, haku mficha uso wake bali alipomlilia akamsikia verse uh, 25 verse 25 we are reading verse 25 now kwalo zinatoka sifa zangu katika kusanyiko kubwa nitaziondoa dhahiri zangu mbele yao wa mchao wa pole wa pole 20 verse 26 wa pole watakula na kushiba wamtafutao bwana watamsifu mioyo yenu 
naishi milele misho yote ya dunia itakumbuka na watu watamrejea Bwana jamaa zote za mataifa watamsujudia haleluya verse 28 maana ufalme maana ufalme una Bwana maana ufalme una Bwana naye ndiye atawalae mataifa wakwasi wote wa dunia watakula na kusujudu humwi na mia wote washukao mavumbini naam yeye asiyeweza kujihusisha nafsi yake wazao wake watamtumikia zitasimuliwa habari za Bwana kwa kizazi kitakachokuja nao wataubiri watakao watakao zaliwa haki yake kwa kwamba ndiye aliyefanya that's the swahili now we go psalm 22 for the director of music to the tune of do of the morning a psalm of david my god my god why have you forsaken me why are you so far from saving me My God I cry out by day but you do not answer Find no rest yet you are enthroned as the holy one you are the one Israel praises In you our ancestors put their trust they trusted and you delivered them to you they cried out and you are saved in you they trusted and were not to, and were not put to shame but I am a worm and not a man scorned by everyone despised by the people all who see me mock me they hurl insults shaking their heads he trusts in the lord they say let the lord rescue him let him deliver him since he delights in him yet you brought me out of the womb you made me trust in you even at my mother's breast from birth i was cast on you from my mother's womb you have been my god do not be far from me For trouble is near there's no one to help many bulls surround me strong bulls of Bashan encircle me roaring lions that tear their prey their prey open their mouths wide against me i am poured out like water all my robes are out of joint all my bones are out of joint my heart has turned to wax it has melted within me my mouth is dried up like a potsherd and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth you lay in the dust of death you lay me in the dust of death dogs surround me a pack of villians encircles me they pass my they pierce my hands and my feet all my bones are on display people stare and gloat over me they divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment but you lord do not be far from me you are my strength come quickly to help me deliver me from the sword my precious life from the power of the dogs rescue me from the mouth of the lions save me from the horns of the wild oxen i will declare your name to my people in the assembly i will praise you you praise him all the descendants of jacob honor him revere him all you descendants of israel for you have not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one he has not hidden his face from him because he has listened to his cry for help from you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly before those you fear you i will fulfill my vows the poor will eat and be satisfied those who seek the lord will praise him may your hearts live forever all the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the lord and all the families of the nations will bow down before him For dominion belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship, and all who go down to the dust will kneel before him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive, posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim his righteousness, declaring to a people yet unborn, he has done it. Hallelujah. Those who cannot keep themselves alive. Beloved of the Lord we cannot keep ourselves alive 
It is not possible for us to keep ourselves alive. It is not possible for us to be in the place where we can that this is what we can do. But our God is more than able to keep us alive every single day. He keeps us alive every single morning. He wakes us up. He gives us the grace to be alive. And this day and this second watch of the day, we want to call on him. We want to pray and make some divine prayers even as we are on this second watch of the day for a crucified life. You know, we want to pray for a crucified life that because of the crucifixion, this is actually a picture of the crucifixion. When you read intensely Psalm 22, you'll be able to see a picture of the crucifixion. When the Lord himself cried and said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Even in pain, even in the most difficult moment, Jesus did not use his words. He used the scripture. I want to show you how the powerful word that God used, that Jesus on the cross, when he's being crucified, in the most excru excruciating pain, instead of crying out other things, he calls out a scripture from Psalm 22. When you read this psalm, it's a messianic psalm, meaning that it points to the Lord Jesus Christ. But since because I'm not making a sermon out of it, I want us to make prayer and ask the Lord for forgiveness, healing of relationships, pray for the release of others. If I told you are holding people, if I told you are holding people, you know like there's something very basic that happened the other day. I saw my neighbor's car with the bonnet open. And just out of courtesy, I just decided to go over there and, uh, you know, just find out if he's okay. And while I was there, I realized he was just checking his engine. There was no wrong. There's nothing wrong with his car. Then I left a switch on in, my, in mine. And I tried to start it. It could not start. Guess who sorted me out? that very neighbor that I had not, that I just gone to check on him and find out, are you okay? Are you fine? There are people that may have wronged us, rightfully so. There are people who may have scratched us the wrong way, stepped on our toes, said things that did not, were not good, you know? Like in ministry, you can easily be hurt in ministry when you're serving God with others and those people, they may just change their direction and start seeing the ministry differently. It is very possible for you to be hurt by others. But this morning, this day, I want us to forgive. And I want us to pray for healing for relationships. Where there are challenges, let the Lord bring answers. For the word of the Lord says, forgive us our trespasses. As he forgives those who trespass against us. Hallelujah. I also take off the old man. You know, like uh, your way of thinking, the one which is old needs to go. Remember, this scripture says, all the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him. This is a reality that all nations will bow. Coronavirus will bow. Cancer will bow. Those are things that are in them, that, that are not people like us. But everything that has a name must bow to the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Mighty Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this time you've given us to call on your name, to pray for forgiveness and relationships to be healed, to pray, God, even concerning your word, to honor you as who you are. Today, as churches around the world are making their debut online and they are coming out here to share the gospel, I pray that, Father, you will help them with the technical details. You will help them, Lord God, to make your word to be reached to the ends of the earth. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We dedicate the rest of the day, even as we have prayed into your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. And the church of Jesus Christ said, Amen. So God bless you. I will see you in the next watch. We thank God that he's given us the grace to be able to gather and meet again at this time. Shalom, peace. I am Malcolm David Siller. Blessings.